Okay, so this talk is a few tricky examples which don't quite fit in the framework of anything we've done. Well, they're sort of similar things we've done, but uh, just uh, slightly different. Okay, let's look at the first one. This is easy. So you have k x to the two k over k q plus one. What is the? Oh, let me change this a bit. Make it a little bit. Make it two to the k. Yeah. Okay. So two to the k times k times x to the two k over x q plus one. Or k q plus one. Sorry. What is the radius of convergence? What's the tool of convergence, etc. Yeah. The radius. Uh, I just said interval. The interval is close one to square root two. What's the radius of convergence first? One to the one, one over one. square root two. Okay, good. What's the interval of convergence? It's close on both ends. Why do you get close on both ends? Because the word different is two. The group is two, so whether or not the alternates we don't get a thousand conversion. Okay, this one was easy. Okay, but why did we get one over square root two instead of just one over two? We need to make the exponential part the we need to adjust this to get the same as this. Okay. Okay, now this one, the second one. So what do you think of this one? Looks complicated. Well, well at well, least, at least we know on. it's is both called, it's called on both ends. And we just have to figure out the radius of convergence. Well, mm -hmm. the radius of convergence. Well, we have to take a little more carefully. First of all, so the exponent now is not k or 2k, it's k squared. Right? Right? Yeah, you mean we need to substitute? Well, we can't quite substitute, but, but we have to think a little bit more carefully. What is this 2 to the k growing like in terms of this exponent? Well, it is growing fast. Well, if, yeah, let's just let us do a substitute. We don't substitute entirely, but just to understand, if you put u as k squared, mm -hmm. then what is k is root u? Mm -hmm. So what happens? What do you get? U plus one squared. Now the summation is actually now it's the sum is only over squares, so it's not a full summation. It's not a sum over all things. It's only over squares. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, now now you can see that what type of thing is this? What type of is this exponential? No, it is sub exponential. Yeah, it's sub So let's just remind ourselves when you have exponential in x to the r, where r is between 0 and 1, it's sub exponential growth. So, so the entire coefficient here is, is what? This whole thing is sub exponential. Mm -hmm. Okay, the entire coefficient is sub exponential. Even though you look, you look and you see there's a 2 to the k. Okay, it's actually it's because the thing here is k squared. It's actually the entire thing is sub exponential. So it's one. The radius of convergence is one. Okay, what about the interval of convergence? Are you have to plug in the endpoints now? Well, it's closed on both Why? Because the word difference is two. Well, now you have to be careful. This, If the 2 to the k were actually the exponential thing, it would sort of get combined with this and you would just be left with the polynomial part. Mm -hmm. But now 2 to the k is now part of the sub-exponential thing. So even when you plug in x equal to 1, the 2 to the k will remain. So, this, so at x equal to 1, it's actually the summation of this thing. Okay. Does that converge? No. So it's open on both ends. Open on both ends, right? This is huge. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this one? This one. Again, you want to put now, the, the exponent here is 2 to the k. So you want to put u as 2 to the k. What do you get? 
Let's do sub exponential. So k is ln u over ln 2, right? So you actually, this part actually now becomes just logarithmic, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like u x to the u times some log polymorph, some rational function in log e. Mm -hmm. So, so what's the radius of convergence? One. So this whole thing is sub exponential. The interval of convergence is. Hmm? The interval is. Well, you plug in x as one or minus one. The coefficients are not going to zero, right? Because they're going like to the k. So open both ends. Okay. Okay, let's let's make something else now. Let's try to make something. Let's try to make an example where we have a similar type of situation. So I want x to the k square. Okay, similar to the first of the tricky example we considered. Uh But yeah, let's see. How do we this? We got k two to the k four k squared plus one. Square. Okay, let's just try to do something with x to the two to the k instead. Let's do square plus one times two to the k Yeah, let's just do this. So we don't have anything else here. This is the one. Okay, what can you solve this one? Hmm? Uh, this one? Yeah. This one will be a sub exponential decay. Okay. So, let's just put u is 2 to the k and see what you get, right? So, you get summation x to the u. Over what? What is k in terms of u? K equals to and then u and square root of u. Oh, and two. Oh, yeah. So this is ln u over ln two times u one times u. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but this summation, remember, it's not over all all the integers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get more and more. Okay. okay. So not over all integers. So, uh, so the summation is actually over just over just those u which are of the form two to the k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what can you say about the summation? Does it converge? Only some. U. First of all, okay. The radius of convergence is one. What about the interval of convergence? It's open on both ends. Why? Well, okay. Oh, we, it's closed on both ends. Well, okay. So this is this is a summation only over some u, right? We don't know whether this converges. Mm -hmm. But if we were somehow able to show that the summation over all u, that is, if you were just allowed u to vary u over all non-negative integers, and that sum still converged. Mm -hmm. Then this sum would also converge, right? Yeah. Because it's only a part of that sum. So does that sum converge? Yes. Just the summation u is 0 to infinity. Instead of restricting it to powers of 2, I'll just write the u first. Why does that converge? How do you get that con to converge? Hmm? Because the denominator goes to infinity. So? Yes. So it no, the summation. summation. Yeah, that's not really the summation converges. 
the terms going to zero is not sufficient to say the summation converges. Well, oh, you want to do the integral test? Well, yes, you could do the integral test, right? Mm -hmm. The integral test would show you that this sum converges. So it's no, it's not something you can directly get from the degree difference test. Okay. But you can do the integral test, and so therefore this converges, and because this full summation converges, so does the summation where you only take some of the terms, right? So the interval of convergence is what? Hmm? Close on both ends. Okay, now can you construct a similar example for me where the convergence would just follow from degree difference? Hmm. What kind, I don't understand what kind of example you're asking for. Okay, let's make one. Or let's make one which is uh, uh, where you cannot do that. Okay, let's do this one. This is actually not what I asked for, but it's etc. <clears throat> okay. What about this series? This series? Yeah, does it converge? Where does it converge? It converges. For what? X. What's the radius of convergence? One. One. And does it converge at any points? Yes. Why? Because it's the same thing as the last one. No, it's not. Because in the last example, even if so, if you, if you did the substitution, you would get summation x to the u over u. Mm -hmm. Right? This summation, if you if you did it oh, over all u, then it wouldn't converge. Yeah. But if you restrict it to powers of two, then it does converge. Why does it converge? So this diverges. But if you restrict the summation to powers of uh, diverges at one. Yeah, can you hold the paper? Yeah. This diverges, right? But if you just restrict it to powers of two, so if you just plug in x equals to one here. So you just take summation one over two to the k that converges because it's a what thing? It's a geometric series, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a segment. So therefore, you the interval of convergence is close. Close. But it's not close for the same reason. It's sort of weaker than this. Here, here it actually converged even if you did the summation over all integers. But now it just converges only when you're doing the summation over uh, because you're restricting to powers of two. Mm -hmm. Okay, great.